FTV uh, Turkish, what can I say, um, pretty humiliating um, in the end. It was a very, very flat performance by a team that we've not really seen that since Arteta's come, but it was very flat today. We just, you know, I think Mo's right to say that, you know, Olympiacos played very well defensively. We couldn't break them down. And then they just waited on those set pieces where we've been poor from and we were poor again and set pieces have lost us the game tonight. Yeah, it's deflating, Rob, but yeah. it's not too surprising either because I know we haven't been this flat in previous games, but there's been periods in games where the first half will be a bit flat or will end the game a bit flat. At the end of the day, listen, there's, a, there's, there's big work to be done at this club. I mean, the ch managerial change is not going to change everything. Um, it's not going to so change everything, but they went out. They did the hard work last week. I was out there. It's such a hostile place to go to. You bring them back home and you think, just get the job done. And it was, it's, we were just not at it today. Yeah, but at the same time, I think us as Arsenal fans need, to, need a bit of a reality check. I've been saying this for a long time now. Our players... A lot of our players are not good enough. Yes, they're working a bit harder under Arteta, but it's working hard, not the basics of football. Didn't Roy Keane say a couple of years ago that well, people are giving me credit for the basics, working hard. Working hard is the basics, but people like Mesut Ozil, people like Hector Bellerin, people like Granit Xhaka, people like Mustafi, they're getting credit for the basics now. And credit to them for bringing the basics in, but it's still not enough. And that's what I mean about a reality check for us fans. Yes, they've improved, but come on. Mesut Ozil today against Olympiacos, 120 minutes, and what did he do? Fuck all. Hector Bellerin was embarrassing in that first half. Didn't, didn't do much better in the second half. Xhaka slow. Mustafi done all right. Mustafi has picked it up a bit, and I hope the value of the players go up and we can offload them in the summer. But this is a time now as Arsenal fans, we need to keep grounded and understand that the job on Arteta's hands is a two, three year job. I'd be surprised if we're a top four contender next season right now. I can't lie to you because there's so many positions that we have to fix um, that I don't think could be done in one summer. We're not a Man City, we're not a Chelsea, we're not a United where we're going to go splash the cash. So it's a case of selling our assets and reinvesting properly. But then when we talk about assets, one of our main assets, our goal scorer today, because forget his miss at the end. Yes, it's cost us, but Aubameyang has done so much for us over the course of the last couple of seasons. I'm not going to stick on that miss. Mm. Even him bringing us back in the game. At one new, it didn't look like we were going to get back in the game. And he pulls an overhead kick out in the six-yard box, gets us back in. Do you know what I mean? But he's got a year left on his contract in the summer. These are the things Arsenal have to start getting right. Contracts, wages, finding the right players in the right positions. Not just picking out left, right and centre who we want and who suits us financially. Because financially, Pepe did work out for us. But practically on the pitch, defensively hasn't improved us at all. And that's what it comes down to throughout the season. Defensively, we're still not good enough. Yes, players have picked it up. Yes, they look a bit better under Arteta because what Arteta has brought is organisation. He's brought structure. Yeah? And, and average players can look good when there's a, te when there's a team organised. When you have players doing the job around you, you look better. And that's what he's brought. So credit to Arteta for that. This is very deflating, very demoralising today because it's Olympiacos at the Emirates. But that's the thing today. It's, it, it's not the Ajax that we thought could be a problem or the Inter Milan. It's well, I think they're out as well. Yeah, yeah, they are out. But at mm. the, that it, this wasn't the team that we thought would cause us a problem. And Champions League is done for us, Rob. Champions League is done. Do, do you think we can get top four? Who knows? Yeah. Top five. <laughs> so, yeah, well, yeah well, I don't think Man City are going to get that man uphill still. So, nice one, Rob. Oh, cool.